Mark Kelly, what do you want to say to your fans? Come on, Mark. Excuse us, excuse us. Excuse us. Are you innocent? I need to explain the video. So as you all know, Mr. Kelly was charged today with four separate cases. Uh, two of the cases are super old, not accurate, not true. One of the cases seems to be a rehash of the conduct he was acquitted for. Double jeopardy should apply to everyone, including R. Kelly. That case shouldn't have been brought. And the last case is a case that involves some allegations in the late 2000s. I know the police have been aware of those allegations. They investigated them. And unfortunately, the state's attorney now succumbed to public pressure, to pressure from grandstanders like Michael Avenatti and Gloria Allred, and brought these charges. Mr. Kelly is strong. He's got a lot of support. And he's going to be vindicated on all these charges, one by one if it has to be. Thank you. When I first met R. Kelly that night, I was very happy and excited because I was young and I was starstruck. However, now that I'm an adult, I feel hurt by what he did to me. When I was only 16 years old and under the floors of alcohol and marijuana which was provided to me at this after party. I'm coming forward now because I feel this is the right thing to do. I'm speaking out because I want to encourage other victims who I know must be, out, must be out there, who I know must be out there to come forward as well. I want justice for anybody who was a victim of R. Kelly. Earlier today, Robert Kelly was indicted before a Cook County grand jury on 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse involving four victims. The first victim, initials HW, was involved in incidents which occurred between May 26, 1998 and May 25, 1999. A grand jury returned an indictment on four counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse based on the victim being under the age of 17 and Robert Kelly being more than five years older than the victim. The fourth victim, initials JP, was involved in incidents which occurred between May 1st, 2009 and January 31st, 2010. A grand jury returned an indictment on the three counts, three counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse based on the victim being under the age of 17 and Robert Kelly being more than five years older than the victim. Aggravated criminal sexual abuse is a class two felony with a sentencing range of three to seven years per count. It is also probationable.